Okay, so here it is, all cleaned up. I've played around with the settings on this, but it's going to need a lot more. It does have a learning mode, but the P, the I, and the D need adjust, all adjusting manually. It allows it to get too hot and too cool. So that's something that I have to get over getting it done. But so far, it appears to be. And light staying on a bit longer. Should come on permanently soon. So it does have a learning uses the fuzzy logic to learn how much to put on but the parameters for how high to go and how low to let it go need to be adjusted I think. But I like the, the install. You can opt for the side using double sided tape with the box on the side. But I didn't see a problem with putting two six more holes underneath because even if I did remove this it's going to be you're going to have to look underneath to actually notice the holes there it is a bit scary doing pulling two holes in your machine but it may be all worthwhile at the end of it so it's led to go up to 91 and just flashing I've got it set at 88 so it's not a bad thing, I guess, to have it set. The only thing I've got to do now is get a temperature gauge to work out the temperature coming out of the brew head. So I can adjust this to suit because the thermocouple was on top of the boiler, as you've seen previously. So it's right near the inlet valve, actually, where the cold water will come in, which is probably not a bad thing. But so the temperature at the top is going to be different to what comes out of the brew head. So that'll be the next thing to do. But it only took me to install it. Probably took me about four, four hours, maybe th three hours tonight. No, probably about four, four hours a night to do it all. Plus, I had to prep the box to fit this in. So maybe five hours in total. Parts only cost me around fifty dollars. I mean, the box is only six dollars. Um, a lot of the parts I already had in my shed, so I say the cost there. It was just a solid state relay with a PID thermocouple, um, and the box I really had to buy. The rest I pretty much had. But yeah, it's come up pretty, pretty reasonable. But anyway, that's how it's done, I guess. I'll do a video again if it breaks, but no, it looks good. Pretty happy with that. Hopefully it, um, it lasts a while. But anyway, that's how you install a PID. And a coffee machine. In particular, around Silo Sylvia. Hope you attempt to do your own and enjoy that's it